Episode 12 on Alma, Missouri Dairy Farm starts right here. We're specifically about the cows. There's a couple things we need to do with the cows today. We actually get to enjoy the dairy part of the dairy farm instead of just cutting down trees, which we will do later. So our little baby cows are doing great. They are producing well. They don't really have a lot of food left, so we're gonna have to give them some food. Just notice that part, that's fine. We get to deliver some milk. We have 165,000 liters of milk, so that should be interesting to deliver all that. We've also got something else. Slurry, yeah, 869,000 liters of slurry. So we're gonna do something with that. We also have some manure here as well. I don't know how that got in here. I have no idea how they got in here. But we're gonna start off with this guy, the Mac. Oh yeah, I love this thing. We're gonna grab some milk, which I think means having to back into that part, huh? I've got it set up to where it should give me about 25,000 liters a second. It's about half that maybe, but there's still a lot of milk in here. What was it, 160 some thousand liters? Yeah, that's a lot, man. That's a lot. We we might have to upgrade our dairy again. I'm not sure if it'll take all this. We'll drive around the front side. Just check on everything. See how everything's doing. What up, dairy? Yeah. <laughs> Super cool to be able to own little buildings that are downtown on this map. I love that. It's awesome. All right. Let's see. Will it empty all of the milk? Just barely, dude. Look at this, 294,000 liters in at a total 300,000. That's a lot. How much is upgrading it cost? Ooh, 91,000. Uh, we could definitely make a little bit extra cash if we upgrade this thing. And we've got a lot more cows now. Oh, I did it. I did it, I upgraded it. The next small little thing that I need to do is take care of the Van Hewis tank because there's something that you guys showed me in the comments of one of the last videos that I'm an idiot. Uh, this guy. Did you, did you know there's an 800,000 liter slurry tank? 820,000? I thought it was only 18.2, but yeah, there, it's right here, all right. We can throw Venus on this one, too. How did this one not show up whenever I was going through customizing the last time? I I have no idea, but there we go. We've got it changed up. Let's probably jump in here and connect that. Yeet. We are gonna utilize this, but it's not gonna be yet. Well, I guess we could go ahead and set it on a few things. Uh, there are a couple fields that we are going to change up in the last episode. We came through, we bought new fields, and... Yeah, that's, that's gonna take a little while. I'm just gonna leave that there. So in the last episode, we got these three fields over here, and I said that I thought it would be fun if maybe we made them bigger. Now there's a couple other ways that we could do this. We can take all three of the new fields and create one field with them, which is I think what I'm gonna do. However, we do have other options. For example, we could take the big field over here and combine it with two of the smaller fields and then take our other field over here and combine it with a field beside it, which I'm gonna be honest, I kinda like that better. It makes this big field bigger and makes the other fields better. And that was milk, I'm sorry, that was a bad representation. So uh, that's why I was saying do like this. However, uh, the, the thing is these are all three different purchasable uh, land areas. So if I was to do anything, I may wanna just try and keep these land areas together. I know in the last series we did it over here, but I don't think I'm gonna do that again. So let's grab a tractor and let's get out there. There are, uh, I don't think I'm gonna utilize the money from the trees this time around. I did last time, but then I have to just go through and handle the, the bushes and yeah, that's it's a lot of work, dude. Get out of here, birds. Get off my fields. I'm just realizing probably would have been a better idea to bring a uh, plow out here so that I could plow these fields together. I didn't think about that, I just wanted to ride. Well, if you turn the plows around backwards, this might work just fine. So I think we leave the trees in the middle, right here. However, we do want to get the trees that are splitting these areas up over here. We need to get those up. Make sure you save your game before you're going to be messing with anything on the field, because, yeah, that's going to not be fun for you in the end. One of the things I like to do is I like to paint ground down first. That way, whenever I come through, I actually know what needs to be removed and what's fun. Plus, we're gonna be plowing all this up anyway, so it's not like you're gonna be doing anything on accident. So we'll come through here, just about like that, and then maybe through here. 
Yeah, that'll do. Now we can actually see all the things that need to be deleted. We're gonna use our delete objects input tool in the easy dev controls. And I'll double check what I set it on the gamepad. So click down on the right stick. So I should be able to just come up to this and <laughs> it works. Oh, that's awesome. This is a tool that I really wish would come to consoles. It saves you so much time, headache, energy. These little trees kind of suck though. Actually, you know what? I could go underground maybe, do it that way. Uh, no, that really doesn't make it any easier, but at least now I can see exactly where the trees are. So that'll do. I think that's probably good. Yeah, all right. Well, that takes care of one spot. I was about to say, did I leave grass on the ground? Oh no. Unfortunately for me, that's only a little bit of it. Oh, I didn't even think. I forgot about all this over here, man. What I should have done was zoomed out a little bit. So I was like, oh yeah, over there. Got it, got it, got it. All right, we'll go back into painting. We'll find our grass ground. We'll find our little circle here and then we will paint through just like so. I don't know if it wasn't obvious. Uh, painting the ground like this, this gets rid of all the bushes that can't be cut. So it just makes them go poof. That's why I do this. Oh, we also have a couple other areas. May as well do those while we're at it. Oh, it didn't take a long time at all, actually. Now we're all cleared up, ready to go. We can get the plow in here and start plowing. We didn't turn on easy dev to make the uh, ground plowed up anyway, so we can at least see where the ground is. And I think I'm gonna start back at the very top. That way we can set the sides of the field where we want them. Oh, forgot about this. Can't forget about the softening tool. We definitely need to do this around the whole thing. All done. Now we can come through here and plow. Yeah, bro, brought the field down just a wee bit. Just a little bit. All right. First pass is going to be, where do I want the field to actually be? So I kind of actually want the field to be about right here. So that works for me. And you can kind of see where I've come through whenever I was mowing the field previously. You can see where I pulled kind of way out to the side a little bit. We're going all the way out there. I figured this would be a little bit easier that way. And it is. Also, we're spinning one of the wheels right now. Can't even get traction down. Had to trade in for a few bigger wheels. This should do the trick just fine. <laughs> yeah, now we're rolling. Finished the first pass around. You can see where all the natural areas were and a couple other areas that we need to fill in, but that'll be the basic shape of this field. And just like them, the field is done and ready to go. Here it is. Oh yeah. I think what we'll probably do is leave the rest of these as grass especially since we need more grass than anything, but it's always good to have a couple extra crops. And since for some reason I have two combine harvesters now, well, why don't, why don't we put some other crops in there? I think it'll be a good idea. Oh yeah, here's my escape exit. Now we need to fertilize a little bit. We'll double check, make sure, applicate or activate double application. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. Oh crap, wrong button, F1, there we go. Now we can put down Double the fertilizer down on the ground. We have 788,000 liters. I think we're gonna be just fine. Let's see, we'll come around through here and activate. Wow, that's slow. Let's uh, let's speed that up a little bit, shall we? Yeah, that's more like it. I don't know why I activated double application rate. Have I been doing that this whole time? Gr grass already has one fertilizer state. You don't have to have, do double. It's putting down double the amount for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, this is this is doing just A-OK -okay by itself. Just one, one application. Yeah, let's, let's do that. All right, now we've got everything fertilized over here. Now we gotta come over there and do it that. And we are definitely activating double application now. And I totally didn't accidentally activate it before. Did I hit this field too? I did. Okay. Also, real quick, before we get moving again, um, oh, am I flying? There we go, put it down. How's about we upgrade this thing a little bit? So 500, looks like we get up to 650 horsepower with another 25 grand. So let's go with that. Also, this guy, can we do some, I know we got some off-road wheels on there now. Can we do some like wild and crazy off-road wheels on this thing? We could do floater tires. That's probably what we want in the field, right? I think it is anyway. All right, we'll we'll go with that. Turn it on, drop it up, grab a hold. Good to go. Oh, forgot to change the color. Crap. Oh, I did change the color, but the front one is chrome and the back ones are matte. And it's like that on every color. Oh, interesting. Well, looks like we're going with black. <laughs> yeah, looks good. Oh yeah. 
this is making its way over the field much better. That was easy. Yeah, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> Perfect. And we still have a lot more left. I, I think we only used, what, 20, 30,000 liters of slurry on all of that. There's, there's unfortunately a lot more left. Actually, how much slurry did we make while we were gone? Oh, how much is it? Where is it? Slurry. 4,000 liters while it took... Urgh. I think eventually we're going to have to start selling some slurry. We're going to have too much. Fortunately for us, we only have one field that we really need to plant because, well, these fields over here is grass. However, this one, we need to figure out what we're going to put in there. Ooh, and this one's ready to harvest. What is that? Oh, it's growing. Oh, well, it's... Never mind. We've got extra money. I could probably spend that on a new header. So let's, uh, let's plant corn. We haven't done corn yet for this series, so let's do it, man. Yes, I'm also aware that this exists right now as well. The Kenzie Multifruit Planter setup. Oh, I love this so much, but yeah, we're not using that today. <laughs> we're still using our case planters, which by the way, uh, these are still pretty sweet. I'm, and I'm actually not even using a modified, well, it is modified, but it's not modified from the new version that custom modding and put together. This is uh, still the old version. Nothing wrong with that though. Low horsepower requirements, low profile, beautiful modeling. I think we're okay. And just like that, we are all done. So we can take a look, see, we've got corn in the field, ready to go. Boom. And it's fully fertilized, so. <laughs> Our work's done. Last up, we need to make some TMR. We've got a lot, and I mean a lot, of, of, of food that needs to be made. We're, we're going to be making a solid mill over here. Go with the handy dandy Keenan Mech Fiber 365. Love this mixer. Well, let's come over here and fill it up. I think I'm going to do a 35-35-30 mix. That should work fine for us. Let's see if we can find ourselves some silage. Let's fill this up to 35. You know what? We'll do, we'll do 37%. 37, 37, uh, whatever the rest. 74, 26, I, I had to do the math. <laughs> and there she blows. All right, fold up 1 million liters of feed. We are gonna have to start making feed a lot more frequently than we've been used to. Come in here, we'll dump this out. And about right there, there we go. So in here, we only had ugh, 60, 50,000 liters of food. There really wasn't much left. As a matter of fact, we'll be able to tell exactly how much there was by how much is left in here. And I'm gonna leave that there because boom, we're gonna fast forward another day in the game. Yay. So it looks like there was 77,000 liters left because that's how much I have left here. Looks like the silage bells that we made in the last episode are about 50-ish percent done. So that should be good. Uh, we've got, what's that? I think it was 1.3 million liters of silage over there. I should do us for a little while. Now into the next day. I think upgrading everything over at the dairy was a great idea. We'll go ahead and dump that out. How have we done overnight? We've done pretty good, right? Milk, 37,000 liters. Pretty good. It's not all the way there, but you know what? It's good enough. And it looks like we're doing fairly well over here. Uh, 140,000? No, 40,000 liters overnight. So we may have to upgrade that once more there's one other number i want to check real quick to see how we did oh we spent 518 grand ah well uh, we made 84,000 at the at the dairy so that's pretty good and we've already made 38,000 today and it's only 9 a.m and i think that's a great place to start